So we'll be maximizing with respect to x and y, min of x comma 4y. Again, x is non-negative. Y is non-negative. Okay, so we are solving this problem. So how do how do I solve this problem? Again, I have to convert it into one variable optimization problem first. Okay, so let me just uh, do it in this way. Let me just take this x, replace it by m minus p y y upon p x, because I'm replacing x with y, so I'm going to put y here. What is the smallest value y? Zero. What is the largest value possible? M upon p y. Okay. And then I'm going to just put min of x is m minus p y y upon p x comma 4 y. Okay, don't worry so much about this. Okay, this is given to you, m is given to you, p y is given to you, p x is given to you. Basically, everything is given to you. I mean, it's just that we are just using these names instead of those numbers. Okay. Let's plot it. Now, again, I'm going to plot the objective on the vertical axis. And uh, the choice variable, what is the choice variable in this case? Y on the horizontal axis. What is the highest value that Y can take? m upon p y okay so let's do this when y is zero the the min of m minus p y y upon p x will be basically min of m by p x comma zero which is zero right so basically this point is on the graph of utility right and when when y is m by p y when y is m by p y can you tell me what is the value of the satisfaction level y is m by py it's again zero because the first term will be zero and second term will be some positive number so it's, it's again zero so basically i know that these two points are on the graph of the function right i mean that's just by straight away inspecting this so you know like whenever you see some min or max you know I mean, you don't have to worry so much about it all that you have to do is you just have to split it into two cases okay split it into two cases because your objective is actually you know, you can write it like this. It is m minus p y y upon p x if this is less than 4 y. Okay, and it is 4 y if m minus p y y upon p x is greater than or equal to 4 y. Right? I mean, that's how you can write it. Now, do you agree that the min of two numbers is always going to be one of those two numbers? So what I can do is I can plot this curve and I can plot this curve and then I can figure out who, where is the min of them. Okay, let's plot this. How is this going to look as a function of y? M minus P Y Y upon P X. It is a straight line. It's linear. Okay, please. M, P Y and P X are fixed. So you don't have to you know, worry so much about it. They are fixed. Okay. You are just plotting and they are positive. M minus P by Y upon P X. How will you plot this as a function of Y? It's a straight line. What is the slope of this line? Minus P by by P X. Do you agree? The slope of the straight line is minus P by by P X. So all that you have to do is you just have to plot a straight line like this. Yes, just a straight line, right? Because when y is zero, this is m by px. Okay, and when y is m by py, then this is zero, right? So I've just plotted this line for, for the time being. You know, this is the line that I've plotted, okay? Utility is equal to m minus py by upon px. That's all that I've plotted. Is that okay? Fine. Now, the, another line that I'm going to plot is 4y. Because that's the second component, right? 4y. Do you agree the 4y line looks like this?
it supports sloping. 4y will look, look like this. Do you agree? Okay. Now, can you tell me when y is this value? Let's say when y is this value. What is the min of these two? 4y. Because 4y is below it, right? 4y is below it. So min of these two is 4y. And when y is this value, what is the min of these two? Right? So basically, it's just a lower graph. Right? Yes or no? Okay. So what am I going to get? Right? This is how the graph looks. Yes? That's basically a quick way of doing it. Otherwise, you can split it and then figure it out and then do this. Whichever way you like, that's totally up to you. Is that fine? Have you all understood this? Okay? Now, once you have plotted this, where is the maximum? Right at the peak, right? I mean, that's, that's basically the peak of the triangle. Yes or no? You can figure out that value. How do you figure out that value? It's an intersection, right, of two lines. What are those two lines? This and this. So both are equal at this point, right? This m minus py y upon px is exactly equal to 4y at this point. So you can solve for y. Just solve it. Just equate it and solve it. Tell me what are we going to get? So what is yd? M upon. Are you all getting this? Yes. And what is the corresponding value of X now? So if you buy this much amount of Y. How much amount of X will you buy? M minus. Py times this. Right? And then I think this is, if you just solve this, you should get, that's right. Okay, you should get this. Is this clear? Okay, fine. So this is how you can just sketch the graphs and solve these optimization problems. Okay? And now, you know, this is very powerful because now you have solved this problem for not, not just solve one problem. Actually, you solve many problems because for any PX, PY, and M, now you just have to plug in those values and this is just going to throw the solutions. Is that fine? Okay. By the way, is this concave? Yes, it is. Is this continuous? Yes. Is this function differentiable at m by 4 px plus py? No, it is not. What is the left derivative of this particular function at m by 4 px plus py? It is left differentiable. It is not differentiable, but it is left differentiable. Can you tell me what is the derivative, left derivative of this particular function at m by 4 px plus py? Uh, so it is 4, right? It is 4 because to the left of it, the graph is 4y, right? So the left derivative is 4. And what is the right derivative at m by 4 px plus py minus py by px right i mean just just look at that this m minus py by upon px so it is uh it is a straight line with the slope minus py by px so that's going to be the right derivative yes or no okay and this particular function is not differentiable at m upon 4 px plus py is this function differentiable to the left of m by 4 px plus py Let's say if I pick a point somewhere in between, let's say m upon two times four px plus py. That's basically the half of it. You know, what is the derivative of this particular function at that point? It's four. Okay. Is that okay? Fine. Because it's upward sloping at that point, right? I mean, and 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 the slope is four. Okay. Okay. 